previous video tutorial we learned what is mocking and what is Mokito framework, right? So here we are going to discuss in this video why need for mocking, yeah? So why we need for mocking when we write the unit test, yeah? So let's try to understand. Here I'll give you the three strong reason and using these reasons we'll try to understand why we required mocking concept while writing the unit test cases, right? So let's start. So here, of course, here what I said before using the Mokito technique, let's try to understand reason for using Mokito or mocking concept, yeah? So first reason says, if you want to test a component that depends on the other component, but that component is under development process, it generally happens when working in a team and different components are divided between several team members, right? In that case, mocking plays an important role in the testing. Without mocking, we need to wait for the completion of required elements for testing. Yeah. So a uh, point is very much clear, right? So as you know, if uh, if you are working in a uh, uh, one complex complex application, right? That application might be broken into the several models and and uh, different teams are working on these different components and there is possibility uh, let's say if you want to test uh, write some uh, unit test cases right for your component but your component depend on some other component which is going to develop by the some other team member but uh, there is possibility that component is not developed yet right so if you would like to continue writing unit test case for your module then whatever response is coming by the other module for your 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 uh, module means your module is dependent on some another module so those stuff you can easily mock right using mockito framework and you can continue writing uh, test cases right and that's the benefit of uh, mocking right that's the first uh, benefit now second benefit we'll talk about why need for mocking second reason as you know, the real component performs slow operation while dealing with like database connection or some kind of wave service call or another complex read write operations. Sometimes the database uh, queries can take longer time to execute. Such uh, In such cases, uh, we require mock objects to perform testing and it can be done using uh, mocking, right? So uh, like, uh, let's say, uh, if you are writing some general test cases and uh, think uh, just uh, just uh, just for a few seconds just forgot mockito let's say while writing the general case case test cases if you are uh, taking the database connection actual database connection or you are just making call to the uh, uh, third party call like uh, some web services call so these calls really takes long time and uh, and if you want to test your application uh, general test uh, your application right then you don't want to wait till that uh, that time right till that longer time rather what you can do you can create your mock object and using that mock object very efficient efficiently or, or you can say very faster way you can test your uh, basically uh, you can perform testing right and that's what we required uh, uh, basically mocking stuff uh, while writing the unit test cases. So we do not uh, basically require the actual database connection, uh, but uh, you can either use the in-memory database or you can uh, you can create a mock object, in-memory object, and using that you can perform your uh, unit testing, right? Now third strong reason for mocking, to use mocking, if there is an infrastructure concern uh, that makes the testing impossible, for example, uh, when we create a connection to the database or some issues related to the configuration occur, uh, it requires mocking for uh, creating mock component to provide unit testing. Uh, let's say, uh, let's say, uh, if you want to write a, a unit test cases, and uh, there is a, there is a, some concern to connect with your database or to call external services like web services, right? So you cannot wait till that time that uh, problem gets resolved right and uh, because of that uh, what you can do you can create mock object and that mock object you can associate so wherever uh, any calls required some return stuff then what you can do you can instruct the mockito if some api gets called then what should be the return that uh, that you can 
uh, right in the JNU-TS cases itself. You can just return the mock object, right? And using that mock object, you can continue uh, continue execute your uh, uh, unit test cases, right? You should not de your uh, unit test cases should not depend on the some external configuration or external calls and all, right? So this uh, your unit test cases should be dependent on the external calls, right? Rather than making the external calls, you should make use the uh, make use of the uh, mocked object, right? For that, of course, this things should be much more clear than when we we'll start writing a uh, JUnit test cases using Mokito or uh, uh, there we'll see how Mokito provides various annotations and various API to mock your object, right? So that's all that three reasons I wanted to discuss why we required mocking, uh, right? So that's all I wanted to discuss in this video, guys. Guys, big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial.